Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to handle yawning while driving. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So if you have to yawn, just like this, okay, just like that, I've, I've literally practiced this about like for like five minutes before starting this video. I literally practiced trying to yawn on command before starting the video and it worked. So I can't mess this video up. It's gotta be one take, let's get it done. If you have to yawn while driving, it can interfere with your driving, but there are things that you can do to make it a little bit better. Many people don't view yawning while driving as a big deal, but it can be a big deal because if someone slams or breaks in front of you while you're yawning and not paying attention, that can cause problems. So I'm gonna show you how to yawn properly while driving. So number one, the first factor is that if it's once, if it's just a single yawn, just deal with it on the road, right? Because you you can use the tips that I'm going to give you and strategies to deal with that yawn on the road. If it's just a single yawn, if you're just going to yawn once or once every 15 minutes, you can deal with it on the road, no problem. Okay, now how do you do it? So the second thing I want to tell you is if it's just that one yawn, two hands on the wheel. You want to be in the safest position possible. In order to be in the safest position possible, keep two hands on the wheel. If you're going like this and yawning at the same time, you have two things going against you, your yawn and your one hand on the wheel. So keep two hands on the wheel. It will help you out massively. The third thing to think, to think about is to try to keep your eyes open. Now, when you yawn, your body naturally wants to close your eyes. But you can yawn while squinting, right? I'm going to do it again. Check this out. Just like that, okay? So as you saw right there, I know my face looked ridiculous. I might use that for the thumbnail. We'll see. Um, I yawned and I kept my eyes open. I was squinting a bit. I was fighting the urge to squint, but I kept my eyes open. So try and keep your eyes open as much as you possibly can. The fourth thing to consider is to try and focus on the road. When you yawn, your body wants to think about other things naturally, like your yawn, where you focus on yawning. I do it again. Like, oh, come on. I should be an actor. Someone give me a show, okay? <sighs> Plus... I have four kids, so like, you know, sleep is, a, sleep is a hot commodity. I get like five, six hours of sleep a night consistently. So if you want me to yawn at any time, I can do it. But anyways, I'm just kidding. It's all good. That's plenty of sleep for me. Um, try to focus on the road. You want to make sure you're not focusing on the yawn. You are focusing on the road, okay? Hopefully you can keep your focus directly on the road. Um, the fifth factor is that if you're going to yawn multiple times, let's say in this situation, I, had, I knew I had to yawn, like I yawned once and I felt the second one coming, pull over in a safe environment, go pull over in a safe place, let all of your yawns out and then get back on the road. Sometimes people yawn over and over again. If you're that kind of person, pull over and then go back to it, um, go back on the road when you can, okay? Lastly is number six, the sixth factor is determine if you are too tired to drive. You know, at the end of the day, if you're too tired to drive, you need to pull over and figure out how to wake yourself up, okay? So I've literally been too tired to drive before right notice how i'm a little bit fatigued i've pulled over i've texted my wife i need like an extra half an hour and i pulled over safely and i took a nap turned the car off took it locked the doors turned the car off took a nap in the car for half an hour got back on the road and i was good to go other times i feel a little bit fatigued i'll go grab a coffee and i'll drink a coffee right or other times i'll pull over and i'll do 10 jumping jacks or or 100 jumping jacks to get my heart pumping so if you're yawning constantly and you are too fatigued to drive then do something to fix that okay because yawning is a, is a sign of tiredness but you know you can be the judge of that so that's basically it that is how to handle yawning while driving an easy tutorial if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.